What? What is? Uh. What? Okay, the lighting's okay. Okay. Hey guys, welcome. Well, welcome back for me. It's been a really long time since I made a video because I sold my other camera, my Sony, and I got the G7X. Whoop. So I'm really excited to use it. Um, I'm still playing around and messing with the features, but I'm just excited that the lighting is like awesome because my other one was having issues in my apartment with it. And I don't know if it was like, I'm not like a huge camera wizard, so maybe that was it. But I'm really excited to start recording again. I have a lot of ideas. I want to do a apartment tour because I just like redecorated and you can't really tell. But um, yeah, so it's been a rough few weeks. I've been through a lot of just BS drama with in my hair. I uh, bleached my hair at home like a week ago and it turned out orange and so I have to get it fixed. But, in other news, today I'm going to be doing a vlog just to like get back in the swing of things because I haven't been recording for a while. My arm already hurts from holding this tripod. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to talk about more future stuff that I plan. Like I said, my apartment tour, I'm going to be doing workout footage this week. And yeah, so let's get it started. Anyway, I'm wearing my Gymshark pants. They're really nice because... Uh, I love these pants because they're super comfortable, but they look kind of like, I don't know. And then I have a crop top um, that I'm wearing, and I'm just going to be wearing that. Yeah. What's wrong? This is, well, I have stuff on the floor, but like, you know. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's the matter with you? You would just show grubs all the time. Uh, go follow him on Instagram at Mr. Bentley Charles. He would greatly appreciate it, right, Mr. Bentley Charles, my papa chino. For you, the guy that thinks things you do. And they were all yellow, cause they were Mr. Bentley. And he hates me, and I'm gonna stop recording. Okay, hey guys, I'm on my way to, um... I'm on my way to Apple. Let me tell you something about Apple. Like, screw y'all, because literally I've gone through three computer chargers in the last, like, six months. And it's just like bullshit because they charge you like $80. Well, because it be, it's because of that huge like charger part, they charge you like 80 plus dollars for it. And it's ridiculous. So I'm just like over it. And I'm going to either get it fixed or get another one. So we'll see how that goes. Because like one finals, I have like nothing to study for my finals. My I've just been like. And also, I don't have anything to edit on this video, which I'm annoyed. I'm just annoyed, like, today's been a really annoying day, let me tell you, because, um, so I work at a gym, Equinox, I mean, y'all know I work at freaking Equinox, what am I saying? Okay, and there's a spa there, and the spa, like, came down over the weekend in the shop where I work, and they were like, girl, like, you should get, uh, wax, like, you would love it, like, you're definitely, like, a good contender, like, when it comes to, like, hair, like, your hair, whatever, thickness and all that. I was like, okay, yeah, sure. So, I booked a Brazilian <laughs> and a leg, but they said, like, my leg hair wasn't long enough or whatever, and I'm sorry, I'm not gonna make it grow longer, because that's gross. So, I'm just gonna you know, skip the legs. And I went in and I got my Brazilian and like ladies if you're thinking about getting a freaking Brazilian wax like can you not because well okay everyone's different first of all like not everyone uh, experiences the same pain when it comes to like waxing so if you like you know I thought I had a good pain tolerance I get my eyebrows done I get you know other things done but holy camoly the like I cannot tell you I 
was in there for like 45 minutes and I come out I come out and I could not walk at all um, I was in so much pain I like even while it was happening like I was screaming I was like oh my god the whole gym is gonna hear because it it's in a gym you know I was like the whole gym is gonna be hear me screaming right now because it was so freaking painful like it wasn't even like a tolerable like few second pain like the I am telling you like right now I am in pain like that's how insane it is I'm sorry if it's bumpy where the fuck am I anyway my arm's getting tired of holding dieting is going I've been like I'll just be completely honest with you like for no reason at all I've just been super like but I've been super unmotivated to gym um, or do anything really I've I hate when I pull up Mexican cars and they're like what are you doing um I've been like super super well I mean I had like a cold and I had a lot going on like I'm not gonna say that I just like was laying around eating bonbons or anything but like I just you know I just did not feel like myself I guess and I stopped counting however I was eating pretty clean like I only went out like twice last week and I cooked everything I just didn't want to count like I feel like I have like such a weird relationship with this counting like sometimes I really get into it and other times it just frustrates me and I just don't I don't know so but now I am back to carb cycling not as extreme I'm doing 75% of my normal carb intake which is 150 I'm doing 75% of that for two days and then 100% and then 125 so ow. frickin prick these are really these are really cute apartment complexes like I have mixed feelings about getting a house because I love oh this is really cute I love having an apartment and I love living by myself and I would not be able to afford a one bedroom house so, this is really cute though. Frustrated. I'm just, I'm just frustrated with life. Now, actually, you know what? Like, honestly, right now, I'm in a point in my life where I'm actually, like, really happy. Um, I feel like a lot's, like, setting into place. My job is really going well. I am... You know, even though I was going through like a transition period, like, because I left a lot of my old BS in the past, I was like going through a transition stage, but now it's kind of like, like it's getting back into place and I feel a lot better. Uh, so yeah, I feel really good. I've been talking six minutes. But I wanted to talk about the Brazilian wax, I wanted to talk about my dieting, I wanted to talk about that I'm going to be filming workout footage this week, and I'm really excited about it, I'm probably going to film a leg day, because that's fun to film, and then uh, maybe like shoulders or something, I don't know, we'll see. And also, I'm going to go tanning, because as you can tell, I'm like super pale right now, and I just, um, I haven't been keeping up with it, and I know like y'all, I get a lot of comments like you should not be tanning, and yes, I know that, but also... I don't do it excessively and I feel like if you do something that makes you feel better about yourself like it's not like I'm like literally roasting in a bed all day every day you know so I mean there's so many things that are bad for you that you could argue that you shouldn't do but people do every day you know what I'm saying like, oh shit see I need a car mount I really like Highland Village and I look red in my camera you know what I don't like is Lululemon because our shop has so much more quality brands than Lululemon. You think it's good quality, but then your fabric starts tearing apart after you wash it one time. It happened to me. Um, so I'm about to pull up. It's over. Wrapping up, but I, my arm's really sore from holding the 
camera. Is this okay? Uh, mind my foot on the brake after I put my car in a park. Okay, so, okay, I talked about Brazilian waxing experience. That was really fun. And uh, these people are watching me report. So, I will, I'm not gonna take you to Apple because I think Apple's bullshit, but I'm gonna, I'll take you on the H Whole, blah, Whole Foods with me. I'm gonna run a few errands down here and I'm gonna have a good day. It's gonna be a good day, okay? Even though I had that dramatic experience and I took a two hour nap because it wore the shit out of me, we're gonna have a good day. It's gonna be good. With three shots of the ristretto. Uh, you want ristretto? Yeah, three shots. And then, um, a pump of non fat, or I mean, non sugar uh, mocha, please. Uh, you want skinny mocha? Yeah, the skinny mocha. How many pumps? Uh, actually, I'll do two. Two, alright, and what else for you today? And then two Splendas in there as well. Two Splendas, okay? Yes, that's it. 363. Thank you. I feel like if heaven had a Starbucks and they made one drink, it'd be this. It's like literally, I'm telling you, I chugged the whole thing just now. I don't even care. So. Do you ever just get like so hungry that you um, find the lowest macro thing in your fridge and just eat it while your food's cooking? Because same. I need to read about how to use this camera because the focal thing's a little weird. Do I like, if I turn it, oh. I'm not really tech. <laughs> I was trying to eat my string cheese and I like broke off the whole thing. Do y'all see my dog? Oh no, you don't. He's like waiting for me. Hey, mama. I have my last, well, I have my last final on Thursday. I'm so excited because honestly, I really don't care about school. I should. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. <laughs> I'm gonna hang up. These Weight Watchers string cheeses are the shit. This is the final product. I cooked the chicken a little too long. Wait, let me like. But, yeah, just in that one piece. But if you like, flip, there we go. Now it's a pretty side. We just have the beets and the chicken, and it looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat it. Try not to get food on my camera. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy that, and I think that's gonna be the it for. But yeah, this is gonna be it for this vlog. I know it was like kind of boring, but tomorrow I'm gonna do an apartment tour, and I have some other ideas, and I'm filming my workout this week, so it should be good. And I'm really happy to be back on YouTube, so hope you enjoy.